The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's move to a new home at Windsor has cost taxpayers £2.4 million in renovation work so far, royal accounts revealed yesterday. Refurbishment work at Frogmore Cottage, their new five-bedroom home, has exceeded earlier unofficial estimates that taxpayers would be asked to stump up around £1.5 million of the then-forecast total cost of £3 million. The work is not finished yet. The couple have been given planning permission to paint the exterior of the Grade 2 listed house this summer at the expense of the taxpayer and to landscape the gardens out of their own pockets. The cost to the taxpayer of the decorating work this summer is expected to be less than £350,000. Harry, 34, and Meghan, 37, moved into the cottage, which had previously been divided into five homes for royal staff, in April from a two-bedroom cottage at Kensington Palace and have paid for the furnishings and extra costs of fixtures and fittings. Palace sources have denied reports that the house has been equipped with a mother and baby yoga room, complete with a floating or sprung floor, for Meghan and the couple's seven-week-old son, Archie. But they have conceded that the couple may have paid out of their own pockets for luxury bathrooms and kitchens kitted out to a higher specification than the royal household allows for in its judgment of what is acceptable for the taxpayer to fund. Sir Michael Stevens, keeper of the Privy Purse, the Queen's chief financial advisor, explained why the money was spent using cash from the taxpayer-funded sovereign grant on the couple's new official residence. He said, the property had not been the subject of work for some years and had already been earmarked for renovation in line with our responsibility to maintain the condition of the occupied royal palace's estate. The Sovereign Grant covered the work undertaken to turn the building into the official residence and home of the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and their new family. The building was returned to a single residence and outdated infrastructure was replaced to guarantee the long-term future of the property. Substantially all fixtures and fittings were paid for by their royal highnesses. A royal source said the major work on the couple's cottage included replacing defective wooden ceiling beams and floor joists. Outdated and inefficient heating systems were updated, the home needed substantial new electrical rewiring, including its own electrical substation, and new gas and water mains were installed. The renovation took around six months and was substantially completed shortly before Archie was born on May 6. Frogmore Cottage, a gift from the Queen, is owned by the Crown Estate but Harry and Meghan pay no rent or lease charges under the terms of an agreement between the estate and the royal household. In the year that Meghan joined the royal family, Prince Charles has had to increase the amount of money he uses from his hereditary income from the Duchy of Cornwall to support his two sons and their families. Charles, 70, spent £5.05 million in the year until March 31, 2019 supporting the activities of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge and the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and paying for a few other costs, up 1.8% or £89,000 on the previous financial year of 2017-18. In the past two years that figures has risen by more than £1.5 million from £3.5 million in 2016 to 17 previous financial year of Harry and Meghan's wedding along 18. In the point five million pound house in Windsor, it's from 3.5 mil spectacular firework in 16 to 17 previous financial year of it's declined to say exactly how much the wedding cost him but in the year of the wedding his private spending increased by 155,000 pounds to three pounds. One million. Charles's annual income from the Duchy of Cornwall, a landed estate created in 1337 by Edward III to provide an income for the heir to the throne, fell by £103,000 to £21.63 million. He paid £4.7 million tax on that, £152,000 less than the previous year, 